One of the toughest customers swimming under ice cover is a fish that some anglers don't associate with ice fishing. Wherever channel catfish swim, however, they often are active under ice. Here's some tactics to help you score. Look at that catfish. What a beauty. What a great thing to catch through the ice. And today, that's what we're after. Josie and I, along with my nephew, Kevin Yeske, are going to show you the how, whens, and where to target these nice big channel catfish through the ice. And it's really not that difficult. You've probably already got the stuff at home. If you're an ice fisherman, we're going to show you multiple techniques. We've got a tip up here, but we've got some other presentations along with jigging that work just great on these channel catfish. I'm going to take out three fat heads. And this is what we're doing. I've got about a size four treble hook here. It's a little bit bigger than what you might think to use for these catfish, but the reason for that is because we're loading up this hook. So I just cut off the, the head on that, pinch off the head on one hook. Second hook, another head. I've got one hook open, so I'm going to take one of these live minnows. My last live minnow here out of the three and bait him on this last hook of the treble. So with a smaller hook, you'd use up all that gap and you wouldn't be able to set the hook on the catfish. With this little bit bigger treble hook, it really helps out. And really, this gives us the best of both worlds. We've got the scent of the cut bait, but we've got the action and vibration from that live minnow. Sent him back down. Another thing we've got is our showdown unit here. And this is critical when you're fishing really any fish, but especially catfish. They're mostly gonna be tight to the bottom, usually that bottom, I don't know, six inches to maybe three feet up is where we're marking most of our fish. So as we set this, we just watch our showdown and get it just perfectly positioned. And there we go. We're going to be perfect right here. Set that tip up, put her down, and wait for the next one to go. There he is. Look at that. You just setting that ice rigger? Yep. That's awesome. We started off with some lines shallow. The shallow is about 15 feet of water. Got a nice drop off here. These fish tend to be relating that anywhere from about 15 feet to almost 30 feet is eventually what we'll fish. Nice fish, Kevin. Real but nice here fish. we're about, yeah, 23 feet. Yeah, it's really important to spread your lines. Don't have them all at one depth because these catfish kind of spread out and they kind of move from the shallower to the deep throughout the day. Kevin, what kind of setup are you running there? Uh, today we're running eight pound test mono on a Fenwick Elite Tech Ice. Rod, and here's a fish up to the hole. Oh, great fish, look at that. Yeah, look at nice that kitty cat. cat. Kevin, why don't you explain? I know that you came over here just to set that rigger, but what, you're kind of watching the showdown unit? Yeah, exactly, you know, I came over and uh, noticed that there was a line about a foot off the bottom, so figured might as well just try my luck jigging, and sure enough, we brought one right up. It's important, like I said, we drill a lot of holes. You mark each hole just to see if there's active fish in them. Um, we may still set a line in it regardless, but you're gonna drill a bunch of additional holes just to see if you can find some active fish. Set these ice riggers out, the tip ups, do a little jigging, and uh, eventually you will connect with these catfish. And boy, that is just one muscular fish. Check our spread. Actually, Josie, you hooked up? Okay. They come through quick. That's the whole thing. You're looking for schooling fish, and that's what we have here. So we'll see how big this fish is. Okay. Oh, he's moving. Let me get this fish. Feels pretty nice. Yeah, with these catfish, we really don't wait for them to run. If they've taken the flag, we're mostly using dead bait here, so we know it's a fish. So it's really get to the hole and start fighting your fish. Gonna Oh, here we go. Another nice average size fish. And this is not, like I said, even one of our, our big boys. It's still not bad. Yeah, and really, you can catch them all season long. You could almost compare them, make an analogy to a largemouth bass. You know, this isn't a cold water fish. So, you know, first ice, they go a little bit stronger, slow down middle of the season, and then light season, they tend to really pick back up. But really, they're available all winter long. We've, uh, we've only had our line set up for about half hour or so. Pretty good action already this morning. So really, we'll, we'll put this guy down, and it's about every 45 minutes an hour we'll go by, and we'll change all of our baits. Obviously, catfish are scent feeders, so we don't want our bait down there for too long, you know, getting rid of all its good scent. That one's set, although now we've got Kevin running into a flag. It's one of the far ones. Let's see if there's a fish on. You got another good fish, Kevin? Oh, real nice. Excellent. It seems like. Look at him go. <laughs> He's not done, is he? No. When I got to the tip up, it was really burning. We got another flag up there too now. They're just, now they're, they're in here good. 
It's been quite the day on these cats. It's kind of nice too to have a buddy with you just kind of mend your line, this Dacron. If you get them close, I'll do the honors. Oh, another nice fish. Boy, you want to talk about a strong fish? Definitely, these channel catfish, they're a great fish to do battle with throughout the winter. You see that big old tail gives them all that power. And he's just muscular throughout. Really, just one tough fighting fish. Let's release this guy and uh, catch a couple more. Good fish, great day, guys. Great day.